In this Go High Level tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create blog very easily and also embed your blog post within one of your Go High Level funnels or website. See you then. So this is my Go High Level GHL. So if let's say you want to create a blog in Go High Level right now, I want you guys to go over to the site. And then when you go over to the site, you will see like there is a blog option at the top of the blog. So you just click on the blog. All right, and then you will be brought over to the Go High Level blog settings. So you can create a lot of different blogs that you want. So now I have created three blogs inside here. So now the first thing is that you want to do is that to create, uh, to click this new button at the top right side. And then you'll be able to do the settings. So let's give the blog a name. So this is a June test blog. 2025 okay and then you can give like this uh, a domain so depending on what domain that you like so maybe it will be like junlu.net this will be a domain that I registered inside if you do not know how to register feel free to check out my other tutorial what I'm going to put in the link in the description box down below to link your domains inside to the go high level so I'm just going to click a uh, block tree okay so of course this will be the block meta descriptions my suggestion is that you can just input something or you can have close or ChatGPT to help you to create some of the meta, uh, meta description here. That is for SEO purpose. All right. And then we are just going to create, click create. Okay. Once you have done that, you are going to pick uh, the layout of the blog. So we are just going to see that. So now our blog is being created. So now we are going to create a blog post. Okay. So just click the blog post over here. You can just say the title, blog post title. All right, and you can also include a cover image here as well. Uh, you can just upload the cover image. The suggested size is 600 times 400. Um, and also the post description. Okay, I'm just not going to upload that, but just to show you guys how it works. Oh, it seems like I must, I must upload in order to create. So let me just upload that. So I'm just going to click a picture of me. <laughs> All right and then click create post. So of course the picture of me, I did not follow this dimension. So just be sure uh, that you follow the dimension. Okay. Just click create. All right. Blog post is being created. So right now what you need to do is just to arrange the layout as well as the text and everything in your blogs. So moving it around is pretty simple. You got the blog post title. You can just give it the title. Okay. And of course you can make use of this content AI to actually uh, in GHL to help you to create the blog so i'm just going to click this content ai to show you guys how awesome it is uh i want to have a section uh the title is how to write a blog um give me tips on how to write a blog so you can add a bunch of keywords i'm just going to be like ghl write blog blog all right you can select the tone of the voice um so it would be like casual i think and give me three variations i want the length to be like medium size and click generate so i really love this tool because it's really awesome you you kind of like combine a little bit of ai within your go high level and having the ai to write the entire go high level blocks for you is pretty awesome so let us just see how long it's going to take talk me about less than one minute it got an entire content ready for me. They, they give me tr three variations and basically the content is good. Like the variation number two, I really love this um, writing a blog. I asked them to share the tips and tricks for me. They said find your focus, understand the audience, craft a killer headline. So uh, you can just pick the one that you really like. And I'm just, I think I'm just going to click the variation too. So once you already pick, you can click this copy. All right. And then it will be copy here and I click continue. All right, so you can do other stuff like, you know, you want to like include like the picture, you can include a picture, you want to do like settings, like this is a header, that's where you're able to click from here. Uh, all right, click from here to do like, this is the header. You want to attach a picture, you want to attach a link. So everything is pretty standard, okay? So after that you have done that, just click continue. All right, there are a lot of things that you can edit, including the blog post SEO. Uh, first is the is this the URL? You can just edit the URL as to what whatever you want, and then uh, you can skip that. And okay, you can actually categorize the blog into different categories. So unless you have not gotten any categories, you can actually add a new category here, and then you just pick like this is a new category, for example. 
and then you can include the image here and then you also have a own URL and you can include the description here as well and click the create category in GHL block. So uh, since I already created, I'm just going to pick like one of it is called blog post and you can add a bunch of keywords here. Uh, add the author, same like you guys, if let's say you have not created the author in the go high level, uh, you can block, you can click the add new author in go high level block. That's where you're going to input the author name and author descriptions as well as all other social medias for this particular author. And once you have done that, you have few options that you can pick in this go high level block. Either you want to save as draft that for for further editing or you want to schedule and publish pick a date and a time for the blog to publish or you just want to publish instantly so now i'm just going to hit the publish date and i'm just going to pick uh now all right so i'm just going to click save all right so now the blog is done so let us go there have a look so this blog is being done so this is my I, I did not edit the blog post title but let's click on it to have a look all right if let's say you want to preview i believe is something that you're able to preview here so i include the cover image so they actually have a recommended size uh, it is, would be landscape 600 times 400 this is a blog post now i'll go back over to your blog and you you're able to click on here the blocks all right and i just pick the blog that you're working on um, so the block that I'm working on is uh, June test block 2025. All right, at the top corner here, edit block site. That is where you are able to edit the different layouts of your block to customize to the one that you wanted. Okay, so once we hit the edit to block layout, you'll see a bunch of things over here. So I'm just going to move myself around. <laughs> Or I talks. Okay, so this is the general. Uh, this is remember when I did the setup. Uh, my uh, link is called junlo.net slash block tree. And this is the overall feel that you have for the basic when people actually just go to this site. But right now, there are more customization that you can do. Uh, okay, for example, you can customize. Uh, let me show you guys. You can cut when you can click on this by default, you will have this. And then you want to see like, do you prefer this kind of block view or you prefer this kind of block view? So this is a standard one where they have a bigger thumbnail and then this is like a more compact one. All right. And then you can also showcase like whenever it's at your home, you only want to show people to the specific block categories. Remember just now when we created a block, we actually created a categories in a go high level block. So uh, in, in those go high level blocks category, maybe in your homepage, you only want to show a particular category. So let's pick like maybe vlog or maybe travel or maybe just blog posts in general. So all, all posts also can be done. So this is actually giving you another options where you want to show which particular category as a blocks they want to show. And over here, it actually gives you more flexibility in go high level blog. Like for example, I don't really want to show images into my go high level blog. By default, you can just untick that. Okay, or you actually don't want to show titles, which is abnormal, or maybe you don't feel like you want to show the author and the published date, you can hide that as well. So all this is pretty, uh, pretty, pretty standard. So if you prefer this view, you can pick that. All right. And then you can also customize the style that you want. Like, uh, for example, you don't like the background color to be the white and you want to be like another color. Okay, you can actually adjust here in a go high level block settings. Okay, so this is an example and you can adjust the tag, the background color. Can you see this tag? So this is the tag background color. That's where you're able to adjust in go high level block. The font size, uh, the font color and everything, you can edit it in here. So there are a lot more in these uh, block sections. Not only you can see the desktop view, you can also see like a mobile view as well. So this is a mobile view. Be sure that you check on that. And there are a lot more like you can create like layers, uh, you can create, I think, pages as well. Okay, so this is a blog home uh, where I edited it. So let me just hit on save uh, before I proceed. So since I already saved, so right now this is where you're able to edit the blog uh, blog post. Remember, uh, just now we were, we were editing the blog home. But then after that, I want you guys to hover over to the go high level blog menu bar, go over to pages and go over to blog post and then make edits accordingly. Okay. So here's the same thing that there are a lot of things that you can do the edits like what we showed just now. You can uh, pick like the background color and everything. You can just edit everything here. Do you want a photo? Uh, do you want a name, description, and everything? This is a blog content. And then you can do like a lot more advanced things here. So this is where you're able to do like the blog content. So uh, you're able to do a lot more here like general blog content, advanced, 
uh, yeah, depending on what you want to set. Okay, you can set it over here. Okay, so next, uh, usually all of you guys will ask like, June, what if I wanted to import part of the blocks that I have inside one of my funnel, like one of my website, what should I do? So uh, this is the second part of the sections where I'm going to show you how you embed your blog post, like this blog post, I want to embed into one of my funnel or website. This is what you are going to follow through. But before you follow through, let, me, let us just watch this, okay? If you have been loving this tutorial so far, please let me know in the comments down below so that YouTube will recommend this video to even more people and you will motivate me to do more videos as such. And also not to forget to join our free ChatGPT course at junlo.net slash ChatGPT where I share a lot more cool tips when I use AI in order to power up my productivity. So in this segment, I'm going to show you how you can embed part of your blog post within your funnels of your website. So I actually have already opened up a funnel of my own. So assuming that you have a working funnel. So let's say uh, we wanted to actually input our blog over here. Okay, so this is what you guys need to do. I need you guys to actually kind of like input a uh, section. So let us just go over to plus the element. Okay, in the element, we are going to search for this particular element called blog post. And I want you guys to drag over to the place that you want to add. So maybe I'll just put it over here, okay? Of course, you can drag it to anywhere that you want. So uh, in this, this is part of the element that's where similar to the things that we did just now. You can choose whether you want to be compact block or you want it to be like a very standard block, okay? And then you can, that's where the categories become important because maybe for different funnels that you have, you have different types of categories for the specifically for that go high level funnel, right? So that's where you can pick the only relevant categories relevant to your go high level funnel. And then you can, uh, over here, that's where you're able to choose the block size. So just now the black site that I created is a uh, June test block 2025. That's where you can have like a recent post by category or you can even have have to choose a specific category okay so i don't have much block there so let me just uh, go to pick another one okay you can adjust all the different button color like this is button color okay and then you can adjust a lot more do all the setups for the particular block inside here and then you can hit save so once you have done that uh maybe i just click a preview to show you guys Okay. So basically for the blocks that you created, what you can do is that you can create a very uh, cohesive block. That's what I did with the junlo.net slash block tree. But I, I just did a very simple one just now. So that's why this image is a little bit distorted. I didn't do a lot of settings. So when I click on that, they will be brought to the particular blog post. And then for this particular blog post, of course, you then want to embed in part of your uh, funnel. So this is my funnel. This is a block, block that I created under another block. So when I click on that, they will be able to direct it to the specific blog post. Okay, so embedding uh, in the website will be the same, same as well. You can actually just embed the elements inside the website. So everything is pretty simple. It is very cohesive. So this is the Go High Level Blocks update in 2024 and 2025. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if let's say you do, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for even more Go High Level tutorial and comment here down below so that uh, YouTube will actually suggest this video to even more people who love to learn from me about go high level and with that i'll see you guys in the next video then and before that before i forget if you want to subscribe to the go high level i have this super awesome affordable deal instead of subscribing with go high level at 97 dollars per month you can subscribe to me at this link down below at junlow.net slash go high level so where i'm just going to go to here and show you guys you can go to junlow.net slash go high level uh, because I am in partner with one of the partner in go high level where they have the reselling rights of go high level so if let's you guys check in go high level uh, if let's say you get the basic plans you can use go high level for, for your own but if let's say you are paying for the premium plant you get to resell and rebrand the go high level under yourself so that's why uh, if let's say you if let's say you join the Go High Level under me, you go to junlo.net slash GHL. Instead of paying $97 per month for Go High Level, you get the exact same things from me at Go High Level, $47 per month only. So if let's say you're interested with it, do check it out or just DM me at my Facebook at facebook.com slash junlostory. And I'll see you guys in the next video then. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>